Hi, I'm Tarsi Goes, Rhinelander Auto Center's Marketing Coordinator, and I have the pleasure of asking some really fun questions to William Henderson. So here we go. Do you have a good luck charm or a ritual before game day? My ritual before game day now, because I'm retired, <laughs> is to make sure I've got the best plate of hot wings available and a nice cold something to drink. <laughs> Very good. Uh, do you have any nicknames or had nicknames during? Nick, well, my nickname actually is Boogie. I got it before I was born. Um, I was evidently a very a busy baby in, in, while in mommy, and, and I, they called me a little boogie man, and I've carried it all my life. Other than football, what other hobbies do you enjoy? Believe it or not, other than football, I am an avid car person. So actually I'm right now rebuilding, uh, restoring a 1965 GMC Chevy C10, a GMC C10 and a 1964 uh, Chevy C10 pickup. I always knew you were a classic fan. If you could have four other vehicles in your garage right now, what would they be? Well, I have a 68 Chevelle convertible, so <laughs> that is one. I would love to have a, oh, what would be the other one? Oh my goodness. I would go with any vehicle. Any, well, I'd go with anything. Well, I'd, I'd like to have uh, a 69 uh, Mustang convertible. It's very rare. It's kind of a rare car. Mm -hmm. Not a 64 and a half? Not a 64 and a half. <laughs> All right. Do you have any pets? Do I, I have one pet. Uh, his name is Gizmo. He is my, he is my, my guard dog. Uh, he is about this big, a little puff of fur, but he's my buddy. Hey, 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 hey. I know, everybody expects you to have, I don't know. I, I used to have Mastiffs. I used to have American Bear. American Bulldogs, but uh, my, my last Mastiff, his name was Maximus. Maximus, at age 18, uh, 18 months, was uh, right at 200-some pounds. It was too hard on him to travel with me. I love, I love my dogs. They, he, would, he sleeps with me. He, they hang out with me. They're my friends. They're my buddies. Since we're in Wisconsin, obviously, what is your favorite Wisconsin cheese, beer, food? What are your favorites? Oh, my goodness. There's so many great Wisconsin cheeses as well as food. Food-wise, I've been, I've been amazed with Wisconsin because I find some of the best places to go and eat and hang out here. And actually, in uh, not too far from here, a place called Main Street Ed's is great food. Uh, and I love it when I'm up in the North Woods because I try to sneak by and go over to Crandon and go to Main Street Ed's and nice. get a good meal. Awesome. So you had two jersey numbers. Yeah. Tell me about that. Okay. Uh, when I first came to the Packers, the number 33 wasn't available. Doug Evans, um, an amazing athlete, great friend, had the number. And he and I talked about possibly me getting the number from him, but he'd already been here and established himself in the number. And we made a deal that if he ever left before I did, that I would call Ron Wolf and make the adjustment at that particular time. And then unfortunately for me, I didn't realize the significance of keeping the same number my entire career. Uh, a lot of people think it's because Amon Green came and he forced me to give up the jersey. But no, I'd, I'd actually wanted to make the change. Number 33 was my high school and college jersey. And it has some histor it's got some significance, the number does to me. So I, I, I wear it with pride. I love that. Tell me about a secret locker room story that will no longer be secret. Secret locker room stories. All right, I'll let this cat out of the bag. <laughs> there is truly a practice by professional athletes that is not really smiled upon. It's kind of disgusting, but it does happen. And we've made fun of several players, teammates, because of it. They're so aggressive with getting done with practice and getting on the road to go home, they make a, a, a verbal declaration that today they're officially taking what they call a shower pill. So instead of cleaning themselves after practice, after getting sweaty, stinky for all those hours, they say, shower pill! And that's the, de <laughs> that's the declaration that they're not taking a shower and they're getting on the road right away. Wow. I just can't, I couldn't do that. I, yeah, I was not, I'm not a shower, I'm not a shower pill guy. I like to be clean. Mm. I like to smell like I actually want to be 
somebody you want to stand beside. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like your socks. Did I overhear the last time you were here, you said you got a fine for your socks? Yeah, that is an NFL rule. And it's kind of one of the ones that I've never understood. Most teams have two colored socks. They have a darker color at the top and a white sock at the bottom. In the NFL, if you are on TV and playing in a game, really didn't have to be a televised game, if your portion of dark color sock didn't match the portion of light color sock or white sock, they would fine you upwards of $5,000 after taxes because your socks weren't socks. even. Yeah, we thought it was ridiculous. I said, just give me all white socks and just yeah. call it a day. Yeah. Or green, enough whatever enough. color. <laughs> Enough's enough. And you find me enough, I'm done with that. So how do you stay connected with the team now? Well, I stay connected with the team. Fortunately for me, being part of the Green Bay Packers, once you're a Packer, you're always a Packer. And a lot of the guys who've gone off to play at other teams always seem to make their way back to Green Bay in some capacity for some games. Most of us are fans of the game, and we want to be around and enjoy the game. And Green Bay playing for the Packers, we treat it more as an alma mater than as a former job. And so coming back, you just want to see your alma mater on top. And guys come back, and I got a chance, get a chance quite often to spend a lot of time around them. And then we do do social media too, so guys can stay in touch. But fortunately for me, my 12 years with the Green Bay team, I was fortunate to make a lot of friends. And they weren't just teammates, so I had their contact information, their addresses, and we do get together. Uh, I'm actually taking a trip with one of my former teammates, Dorsey Levins, uh, next in February for my birthday. We're going to Africa. Africa, that's yeah. really exciting. So why Africa? Oh, it's a place I've never been. I've never been okay. on the continent, and mm -hmm. I've always wanted to go. And he was able to uh, negotiate a, a, a trip for us, and he asked me if I wanted to go. Of course I'm saying yes. <laughs> uh, but we're going on a 13-day trip, uh, safaris, golfing, doing all kinds of things. We, we've got a bucket list of things we want to do before we leave this earth. And unfortunately, time's not getting any longer for us. So yeah. we're going to try to take care of the bucket list now. Speaking of leaving this earth, who do you miss the most out of the uh, Green Bay team that is no longer here? I looked at my uh, Super Bowl 31 football uh, that I had all my teammates sign uh, yesterday, actually, in my basement. And uh, it's very sad for me. Uh, the only, I only have a couple of pictures football related and, you know, my walls in my house. Uh, the picture that I'm thinking about is one of my favorite people of all times and unfortunately he's no longer with us but reggie white reggie white uh, was a mentor to me an inspiration to me and he was the person he was one of those people that held you held, held you accountable for not just your play on the field but the person you were off the field and that's why i've always i grew grew to love him as a player grew to love him as a friend and miss him so much now i think you make him proud I try. I try. <laughs> Last fun question. Okay. What is your go-to karaoke song? <laughs> uh, my go-to karaoke song. Um, I, I, it automatically comes to mind because the last time I did it, I was with Amon Green, <laughs> and we were at his birthday party when he turned he turned that right four zero, and his song was my song, Sir Mix a Lot. I like big. Butts, and I cannot lie. Uh, you others may deny. It, it, you know, it's just a great song, and it gets yes. you in the mood to having fun. Yes, it but gets yeah. everybody cheering and clapping, right? No yeah, it, it, are. it's not the Lambo greats, the YMCA, <laughs> or all those other songs. You know, we will rock you. No, it, it is. It is. I like big butts by Sir Mix a Lot. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for having. Uh, stopping in in Rhinelander Auto Center. You're always a pleasure to have. Well, thank you.